Derek Lewis versus Tai Tuvasa. And I'm going to take this one. You're going to take the main event, right, Dan? Take both. Of the evening. Of the evening. You can take both. It don't matter. I, no, I took the last one. You can take it. Um, Tai Tuvasa, he's on a four-fight winning streak, all KOs, and three of those in the very first round. Maybe the best immune system in the entire UFC um, with the amount of shoeys alone from all those drunken assholes at UFC events. Very good striker, not just power, but overall technique. Very fundamentally sound, which makes sense when you find out that he's fought at a Tiger Muay Thai and AKA and has fought at the pro level in boxing, kickboxing, and MMA, the trifecta of striking. Um, he's taken on Derek Lewis. If, if you haven't heard already, um, he can hit people like very hard. And like Tuvasa is four and one in his last five. And people forget that he's got a very boring win over the champ, Francis Ngannou, which could be the biggest flop fight after oh. all the hype leading up to it of all time. Just one of the worst fights you'll ever watch. Lewis definitely has the experience and the high, of the high level of competition, but Tuvasa has the better um, striking fundamentally, I think. But um, I think this is a little too fast to move, of a move for Tuvasa. Derek Lewis, in my opinion, is a top three heavyweight right now. Besides Francis, I think he's got the heaviest hands in the UFC. So I'm going to go with the Black Beast in this one. Yeah, I'm going to take him too. I think that the UFC is trying to make a superstar out of Tai Tuivasa, which rightfully they should. The guy's yeah, he's an animal. fucking man. Um, and he's very similar to Derek Lewis in a way. They're both like just looking to go in there and knock you the fuck out, right. which is super cool. But um, this fight, like, it's honestly a pretty sketchy fight because I think both guys would have like a 30% chance, 35% chance of knocking each other out. Both guys, both guys have a solid chance. Uh, Derek Lewis probably has a, a higher, probably a higher chance just because just because of how powerful he is. Mm -hmm. uh, Tuivasa is going to be faster, but it doesn't really matter. Yeah, you when know? You, like, yeah, when you fight Derek Lewis, all he needs is one punch. Derek yeah. Lewis has fought a lot of people faster. Curtis Blades is faster, way faster. Um, Dawkins, way faster. Yeah, oh my god, yeah. Um, and he beats the crap out of him. Yeah, like he might be in some boring fights every now and then when the other guy doesn't when he doesn't really connect, which has happened multiple times. He was on a decision streak for a little bit, or he had a couple of decisions here and there. Um, but yeah, either way, I think Derek Lewis is going to be able to land the bigger shots, and if it goes to a decision, I think Derek Lewis will take it probably from there. So yeah. either way, I'm I'm riding with Derek Lewis, but I'm probably yeah, I, I like Derek Lewis in this one. I kind of. I, I don't know. I, I thought the odds would be a little different. We're looking at Derek Lewis, and he's the favorite, minus 170, it's looking like at this point. Um, anywhere between a minus 170 super, and a minus That's 90. super reasonable. Yeah. I honestly thought it'd be closer the way people, like, I don't know. I see a lot of people betting on Tubasa just because of his name value right now is huge. But I see Derek Lewis taking this fight. Yeah, probably. All right, cool. We're, more than likely. Actually, more like... Likely. Very likely. Not more than likely. Just likely. We're both going to go with Derek Lewis. And we're